Hi, it's Teresa. Today we are talking about how we hold ourselves back from growth and expansion. I get hired all the time by people who want to be able to hear and trust their intuition more. And when we can, there's still a couple of ways that we hold ourselves back. As spiritual people, we spend a lot of time asking the divine, asking our higher guidance, how it is that we can be of service to the world, how we can help other people and make this world a better place. And where we frustrate ourselves and probably our guides and maybe our angels is actually when we get that guidance, when we hear the guidance, when we understand it, when we know it, and we don't take action there are a few different reasons why we don't listen to our guidance or take action. We ask for guidance, we ask for our mission or our purpose or our next step. And then when we receive it, we feel that maybe the communication wires got crossed and we got the message for somebody who is much more advanced than we are. Or the way in which we've been asked to show up has nothing to do with our life as it stands right now. I've seen the divine play at this in many different cases. An engineer who ends up being an angelic channel. A housewife who ends up becoming one of the most brilliant spiritual teachers in the world. And each of those people ask the same question, why me? We might not ever know why, other than the fact that we are open to showing up the way the divine needs us to show up in each moment. And know this, that if you're being asked, if you're being guided, it is your mission. And our famous words, who am I to, and then you insert whatever you're being asked there. Who am I to channel the divine? Who am I to set up a retreat in the middle of Costa Rica? Who am I to fill in the blank? That question is only answered by who are you not to? You've been asking to be shown the next step. You've been asking to be shown how you can make this world a better place. And your question and your desire is being answered. So it's time to listen to that and trust that the next steps of everything that you are asked to do will show themselves to you. And we'll talk about that next. Another big way we hold ourselves back is by our lack and limitation mentality. This is all of the thought processes that tell us we don't have enough. We don't have enough knowledge, time, resources, energy, whatever the story is. And it's time to let that go because if you are truly being guided to something, then the resources always show up. And I can tell you this firsthand from experience in my life. So this brings up the question, well, how do I know if this is actually my guidance or if this is my ego, if this is the part of me that's expressing something that it wants to do or be known for? So the answer to this is actually very simple and it's always the simplest things in spirituality that are the most complicated if you haven't noticed that already. The guidance will keep coming. It will be incessant and it will not leave you alone. So if you think that you finally quieted that voice inside of you that's been begging you to take a pilgrimage back to your homeland or whatever that version of the story is for you and you take a breath and you're like, oh good, it stopped. All of a sudden your inbox will be flooded by advertisements about flights, cheap flights to that area. You'll receive a catalog in the mail for that class that you've been denying that you actually want to take. The universe will keep it crossing your path. And when this guidance comes, even though it may feel uncomfortable, it may feel like something you're not fully prepared to do, underneath that current of excitement, a lot of people will think of it as fear, but it's like the first day of school. You know you need to go, but you're not sure what to expect. That undercurrent will be peace. If it makes you feel anxious or upset or angry, that is not true guidance. Your true guidance that's coming from your higher source will always feel good even underneath the excitement or the parts that you feel will be challenging. So much of what I hear from clients and people in general is that the resources are what holds them back from taking that next step. And honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, that is just an excuse. Moving from a place of truly deep calling, moving from a place of feeling that you have real guidance. This is very different than a whim. This is something that 
keeps coming, won't go away, and feels very steady. And if you walk in faith, if you put a deposit on that plane ticket, or you put the first payment down on that course, the universe will see your intention to follow your guidance. And then what will happen is the resources will magnetically start coming in. And it always, always, always works. And when we move past those stories, we also rewire our patterning in a very deep way that will not only affect us, but affects our entire genetic line in all directions of time. So you know this shows up for you in various ways as an individual, and now what you'll start to do is notice even the most subtle of ways that it shows up in your life. What we do also is we put these ideas onto other people. I've seen this with friends and colleagues. If there's this really great course, for example, that I feel called to take, and I end up with the resources to do so. And I know that my friend would really, really enjoy and benefit from this course. And I hold back telling her about it because I know she doesn't have the money to do it and I don't want her to feel bad. So when I do that, I'm actually then placing ideas of lack and limitation onto her. So instead of boosting her up, I'm actually having thought forms about her that help keep her down and help keep her away from her own experience of owning her abundance, of owning her worth, of accepting all that is her birthright. So if I share the information with her and she decides that it's not in divine timing because the resources just aren't there, she then actually knows if she's excited about this thing, she has a vision to hold so that she can start calling in the resources for a time when it's better for her to take the course or do whatever it is that I'm sharing with her. Invite them anyway and let them make their own decision. If that's something they desire, they can use that desire to fuel the thought forms, to fuel the feelings, to fuel the heart opening that is required for them to manifest exactly what is needed to get them to that place where they can do those things. That is the beauty of community, is that in these simple ways, when we release our own stuff, we can start holding other people in the higher light of what we truly believe and know is possible. So let's do this as community. Let's start calling our friends into their abundance and letting them decide. These are some of the ways that we hold ourselves back. When we finally hear and feel the guidance we've been begging the divine for, it comes in and then we say, uh-uh, no, that's not me. That was for somebody else. I am not good enough. I am not worthy. I don't, I don't have that skill set. I don't know how to do this. These are all the stories we feed back to the divine. So can you imagine being on the receiving end of that? It's like when you get someone this gift or you make them a gift and you're so excited to give it to them and then you give it to them and they say, oh, I couldn't possibly accept this. You can bet that if universe gives you something or asks you to show up in a certain way or to do something, that you are ready. The how, the information, the resources, including the time, including the money, including the energy, all of those things will show up and you will be guided step by step. So it won't be this giant leap from where you are now to where you're being asked to be. And every step of the way, all you have to do is put one foot in front of the other. So please, this month, practice receiving, practice allowing universe to guide you, practice following your intuition and your guidance when you truly know that it's coming from that very deep place of total alignment. I wish you all the best this month. Please absolutely feel free to leave comments or share this video with those that you feel need this type of inspiration. So much love and so many blessings. I'll see you soon.